So you just bought an RTX 4080 Super and you want to get either more FPS, lower temperature, lower power consumption, or just a quieter system overall. Well, in all these cases, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at the Mountain PSUs with a full undervolting tutorial showing you guys how, depending on how you set your card, you can achieve all of that. We will have different presets. The first preset is going to be for mostly efficiency, so keeping pretty much your, the same FPS as right now, but achieving better efficiency, less temperature, less noise, less thermals, and even fix the coil wine in certain cards. Then we will also have a performance preset for those of you who just want more performance while still getting a bit lower temperature and better overall experience. Then in the end, I'm also going to show you how you can make your own preset in case you want to really fine tune the card. Now, before we get started, promise me one thing. If the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel, okay? Now, one last thing. This card is actually the best card on the high end you can buy. So I congratulate with you for buying the best. I actually don't really recommend buying the 4090 at the moment. I think it's a bit overpriced and a well-tuned RTX 480 Super is going to be the best. Also, the Super Series of cards has better binned memory on average, at least in my testing. So you will be able to tweak it and push it even higher. So with that said, let me see you in the desktop. Okay, so what you're going to need is MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. Now, the link to both of them will be down in the description from the official website. So first thing you want to do is just open up MSA Afterburner, okay? And then open up Heaven Benchmark, but don't start it in full screen. Uncheck this thing and then start it, okay? Now at this point, you wanna hit the Windows button and bring up MSA Afterburner so we can do our tweaking while the benchmark puts some load on our car. This is a key step and many people skip it on my tutorials and that's a problem, so please do it. So here we are. Now you wanna click on Curve Editor and this will bring out what we are gonna actually be working with. First preset, okay? I promised you guys three presets and we're gonna have them. So you wanna raise the 900 millivolt voltage point by holding the shift key and just raising the whole curve up until it is on the left side on the Y axis on 2550 megahertz. Now it doesn't have to be the exact number. It can also be like 2548, 2552, something like that, but around this range, okay? At this point, release the mouse, release shift, click on the void, hold shift, and then select the whole curve on the right. This is the most tricky part, okay? At this point, release shift, release the last click, and now left click on the curve and drag it down to flatten it, and hit apply. And our card crashed. So now I wanted to show you this in case you guys have this happen. So while you're doing some tweaking, things can quite simply not work. And this preset, 900 millivolt, 2550 megahertz, will work for most cards, but not for every single card. So in case it crashes, you just wanna hit the reset button and then go at it again. So for most people, you wanna do that. 900, 2550. But what if you're a bit unlucky, just like this card we have here today, and that's not stable for you? Well, don't fear. What you have to do is just bring the whole curve up to just a little bit less. For example, 2500. Let's see if that works for us. Same procedure, I select the whole curve, flatten it, hit apply. This time, it's working. So we can keep this as our preset at the moment. But again, most of you really can just do the 2550. At this point, you wanna go into settings, enable voltage control, voltage monitoring, hit apply, hit yes, MS Afterburner will reboot. Now you can bring out the curve again, and as you can see, it's still there. You wanna also unlock your power limit. This is not gonna increase the actual power consumption. It's just gonna give the card a little bit extra breathing room. In my case, we cannot increase it. It's locked at 100. There are ways to unlock this, but they, they include BIOS flashing, and they are beside the scope of today's tutorial, unfortunately, but I can maybe do a dedicated tutorial if you want. On the memory clock, most cards can take plus 1,000. So just hit the 1,000, hit apply. This is basically free performance for you guys. But again, if you wanna be extra safe, let's say you're unlucky, like I was on the core clock, put 800, okay? 800 is gonna be plenty fine. Now, those of you who feel very lucky, you can push it a bit more, but we will show that later on in the further presets. Now, let me show you the performance preset, okay? Performance preset is basically the same, but we do it at 975 millivolt. Now, my card, again, is a bit unlucky, so let's see if that will work for me. So you just hold the shift, left click, raise it until you are at 2750, roughly, okay? Then select all the right side of the curve, flatten it down, 
hit apply and magically this one is working for us which means that our card is truly unstable only at lighter loads meaning at 900 millivolt it's really unstable but at higher voltage it actually behaves pretty well so at this point again performance preset we want to go in the memory clock and give it again a nice plus 1000 truthfully the tutorial could actually end here so if you just want to copy my settings you can actually close it but let me show you how to save those things and then for those of you who want to stay i will show you how to fine tune the overclock for yourself the under volt i should say so hit save click on one click on one again click apply click on the little windows icon up here go into settings start with windows start minimized apply okay done so this is it, in case you want to just copy it and apply it, okay. Now let's say you want to fine tune it, so how do you do it? Well, first off, you can just, for a certain voltage point, you can raise your clock a bit more. Now the voltage point is what determines your noise, temperature, power consumption, and, more importantly, stability. Of course, the higher core clock, which is this number, you can achieve for the same voltages, the better, but it's not that easy, so you have to stress test it. So after you copy my settings, even if it's just a preset, you want to open your games and just test, make sure that everything is stable, okay, that's key. For the memory, basically the same thing, so you can increase this one basically as much as you want, and some cards can actually go all the way up to plus 2000. Now, not my card, because it's very unlucky, I will not hit 2000 because it will just crash my PC, but if you want to test this, you want to go up, 100 megahertz at a time so you just go 1100 etc until it crashes when it crashes you go back 200 so let's say my card crashes at 1200 okay it means the stable point you want to set it at it's 1000 then of course you also want to validate this in games but it's relatively straightforward again the memory is pre free performance pretty much and this is it so if you have any questions drop a comment and i have many more tutorials for cpus gpus amd gpus i cover it all and i also do builds which you might like on the channel like the one we are working on here today so in case you're interested again check the channel out and remember your promise guys drop a like and a sub for me see you in the next one bye